Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I am Jenna Stauffer. I had the pleasure of talking with my first guest this morning, Keith Bland, a couple of months ago, and I was completely blown away by his work. Now, painting is his passion, and his pieces are truly remarkable. He's a nationally recognized portrait painter, and he has a new show up at the studios of Key West. Now, this exhibit features 33 different oil paintings of iconic faces from around the world. Keith, thank you so much for being on with me this morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, I really, truly am, Keith, such a fan of your work. I think all, right. all of your paintings are beautiful, and I, I love your portrait paintings, which is, is what you're definitely known for. Yeah, my portraits actually are my bread and butter. I mean, um, I um, went into art full time in 19, the summer of 1990, so 23 years. And the first thing I did instinctively was paint a portrait of my brother. I had just been in California attending his wedding. And I'd taken some photos of him, and there was just one that really struck me. And um, I painted that portrait, I, and it still hangs in my living room. And um, from there, I painted my niece, whose name is Grace, and she was two years old. Mm -hmm. And it was in a, a three-foot square, just a face, you know, kind of think Andy Warhol faces as far as size, mm -hmm. uh, but with realistic colors. And then friends of mine saw that painting, uh, who had young children, and commissioned me, so a small business was born mm -hmm. um, through that. And um, so uh, most of my work is commission work. A lot of people in Key West say, I don't ever see your work, and it's like, Fortunately, I get commission work, fortunately and unfortunately, but fortunately I get it. Mm -hmm. um, and of course it's shipped off when I finish, so. Now Keith, what's so interesting is that you said how you started painting 20 plus years ago and you had left your Wall Street lifestyle to pursue yeah. painting full time. Yeah, I studied, uh, got my master's degree at Columbia and um, I was in uh, real estate investment on Wall Street and um, my boss was a wonderful man. He thought I had totally lost my marbles <laughs> when I announced to him at lunch one day that I was going to pursue my painting and wanted to resign. So he instead uh, offered a six-month leave of absence, which I thought was very kind. And mm -hmm. I took him up on that. And um, six months later, I, he could tell I was ready to continue pursuing. And, you know, I just haven't turned back. And um, it's been a great decision for me. Well, it's a great decision for us here in Key West because now you have blessed us with your work and you have this new exhibit up at the studios of Key West. Right. Tell us the inspiration behind this one. Well, it was not planned. Most of the work that ends up in exhibits for me, it's not a planned thing. And I, I attended an exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum in New York called Heroic Africans. And I walked through that exhibit in these faces of these sculptures most of them wooden and stone, uh, just literally jumped out at me through the glass and um, they were so expressive. And so I went, I went home, uh, came home to Key West and started just painting them. And I decided to put down my brush, which is sort of my signature um, style, a very soft brush work and use a palette knife because these paintings, I mean, these uh, sculptures were so expressive. So I got my palette knife out, restricted myself to that. And so there, you're going to see uh, pieces in the show that are just done with palette knife and a lot of paint being not slung around. But mm -hmm. um, that's how it started. And then um, I actually, there was no, still no intention of, of an exhibition. And then I, um, I went to the Key West Cemetery one beautiful January day in 2012 and I saw the angels' faces. And so here was the African culture that I started with and then the European culture. <coughs> and I started thinking, these are the same faces, you know, that m many of the works of the Africans and these obviously were for burial sites or cemeteries uh, to honor, commemorate people. Mm -hmm. And then the angels were idealized faces, like what is an immortal person supposed to look like? Well, mm -hmm. somehow from Greek and Roman classical sculpture, we have these faces. Mm -hmm. So this is an ex exploration of those faces in many different cultures. And with those two cultures melding, that's when I came up with the Second Line Parade, which is a New Orleans tradition, a, fu a funeral tradition <coughs> of a jazz band who, that marches. The marching part is the European part, and the jazz, of course, is the European-African influence mixed. And um, so the Conquer Republic marching band will be 
doing a second line jazz and performing on stage. It'll, it'll be a really upbeat evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your opening night <coughs> will be unlike any other opening night. You've got yeah. music playing, and then you also have a woman who will be reading poetry. Yes, and, and uh, Maureen Tracy Venti, who is a, um, a resident artist at the studios of Key West, she has a, her studio there, wonderful uh, friend. Um, so I was telling her about er, my early work right after I got into the, the, the European portion mixing with the African and, and then I, this concept of immortality and uh, she really heard it and mm -hmm. said, you know, I'd love to write poetry because she's, she's kind of an expert in uh, uh, mixing poetry with visuals, mm -hmm. whether it be photography. She did a, a wonderful show with Michael Phillip and then this show she was really interested in pursuing so she sort of upped the bar for me and the collaboration, I think each of us sort of, uh, when one of us was lethargic with mm -hmm. our thoughts and stuff, I would read one of her poems and it would just like shoot me up. And mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful, wonderful time. And she's going to be reading her poetry at the top of the hour at 7 and at 8, mm -hmm. short readings. And uh, it should really be an interesting night. It will be. And, and that, of course, is taking place tonight. And then your show will be running until middle of August. I, uh, the last day is August 8th. Okay, so beginning of August yeah, more so. Yeah, okay. right. So it's up three weeks or so. Okay. Now, Keith, did you have a favorite painting from this exhibit? Oh, that's <laughs> hard because I really try to keep one painting from each exhibit for my collection, and I'm, I'm trying to decide. I clearly have ones that I remember a certain stroke, for instance, with the palette knife that just worked, like the paint just did what it wanted to do, and it's exactly mm -hmm. what I wanted it to do. Awesome. So there's a few of those, um, but th there, it's down to three. Mm -hmm. I'll make my decision before tonight. <laughs> okay. And now, Keith, what will you be doing the rest of the summer? I know that you also have a studio in New York, so yeah. will, you be, will you be spending your time there, or will you be staying here? Uh, I'm here till the end of the exhibit. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I will also be offering uh, for anybody that wants um, gallery walks um, Sunday afternoon at the studios is a perfect time where there's no classes and I will be available if anybody wants to walk through. Uh, but then right around August 10th, I'm going to go up to New York and spend uh, a month or so and then take a trip to Italy and take a little time off. Mm -hmm. Pulling the exhibit together is um, it's tons of fun, but it's also a lot of work and plus my real estate work. Keeps, right. keeps moving along, right. which is which is all good. Mm -hmm. I think that's so interesting too, Keith. You're yeah. a painter, and then you also do real estate on the well, side. Don't we all have to have second jobs? <laughs> we do, especially <laughs> down here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and third jobs. And thir that's true. Hey, you you'll run into that sometimes. But it's you're just an interesting man. I, I think it's great that you do both real estate and painting. But of course, painting's your passion. It is. I mean, it really is my heart passion. It, but I'm trained in real estate, and I really enjoy it, too. I, mm -hmm. I enjoy using both sides of my brain. And um, if, uh, if I had to choose one or the other, I would choose painting. But mm -hmm. I've got to pay bills, and I enjoy the real estate. <laughs> and I think I'm good at it. And absolutely, so. absolutely. Now, Keith, what are you working on right now? I know you've got the exhibit, Paint. but is there like anything in the back of your mind that you're trying to get, to get started? You know, um, I do have one portrait uh, that I've gotten behind on my commission work of a child. So I will be working on that probably during the exhibit. Um, but I have freed my mind uh, intentionally. Uh, this exhibit, you know, to pull it together, like I said, it has been um, wonderful work. Mm -hmm. uh, but my mind is free right now and I don't know where I'm going, it, mm -hmm. which I, I sort of like. I just mm -hmm. keep, I keep my eyes open being a visual artist and you know of course my ears and every and all other senses but I don't know where I'm going well to me that's part of the the fun that's right you're on an adventure right now. yeah that's where you're going who knows? <laughs> who knows what will happen and, and actually this could continue because I've only scratched the surface of mm -hmm. these sculptures and basically the exhibit is portraits of sculpture mm -hmm. and, and it extended beyond the Africans and the Europeans into Chinese like I have terracotta warriors I don't know if you're familiar with those but those amazing uh, sculptures the first emperor of China in like 200 BC was buried um, it took like 30 years for an entire community of like 30,000 people to sculpt 7,000 warriors life-size and entertainers and and they buried them all with this mm -hmm. emperor thinking that in immortality forever he would have all these people around him a mm -hmm. to protect him b to entertain him mm -hmm. 
So the same theme runs through all this, all these different cultures, <clears throat> but the same theme of the, um, for some reason, humans want to be live, you know, forever. Right, right. So uh, well, that's it. And then it goes into Mesoamerica, Mexican, Aztec. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. It's very, very diverse. Well, it sounds so fascinating, and be sure to stop by the studios of Key West. Check out Keith's latest exhibit. Stop by tonight for opening night, and again, it runs through August 8th. Keith, thank you for being back on with me this thank morning. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> Thanks very much. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There is much more to come. Stay with me.